Hello everyone, this is Hadrian. Hey folks, I'm Mal. Thanks so much for being here. Let's play some more Master of Orion in our brains and bright. <laughs> series. Um, we're uh, cautious. No, I'm not even going to say we're cautiously optimistic. I, because yeah. I don't think we're in optimism territory I don't yet. Think, I don't but think we're, we're not. We're not as pessimistic. We're not in the doldrums we of hell. An episode or two ago. But yes. we're 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 not ha we're not happy people yet. No, we're not quite happy. I am going to go ahead. I've got a cruiser two turns out from being done. I just bought its uh its second turn, so it'll be done next turn. That'll help me have a little bit of an edge against this force this force that has just arrived in Invaca. Um, which I think I actually stand a bit of a chance against, all things considered. And then, of course, as you encourage me to do, I'm going to have interplanetary administration up in Zenithnada very soon. So that'll help me crank out ships in a system that has already been cranking out ships. So do you have an alternative for striking that battleship in Madeira? Oh, I'm sending two battleships this time. I, I Silly me thinking that one of my battleships when that thing has no health would be enough. So this time we're not playing around. We'll send two and that should take care of the problem. Look like looks like the Sakura has arrived or have arrived in uh, in Hake. The problem is they're probably going to destroy this colony before I can get there. Lame. Yeah, nothing I can do about it. I'm going to terraform Zenithnada too. It's only going to take 10 turns. All right, the, just FYI, because this might... Well, actually, you have a jump gate in Madeira, so you're good. But there's a jump gate in Tyrannus now, so if you somehow lose that jump gate, you can use that as a backdoor. Nice! I'm also going to build a planet out of this uh, asteroid field, so there's going to be three planets in Tyrannus for me. Taking a quick look around to see... I've got flux shields going up, but they're just taking a while. They, they take a while to build. Yeah, they do. Well, it's the top level planetary defense. So. Oh yeah, of course, of course. I mean, it, it makes sense to take a while to build. All right. So the good news about this Invaca invasion fleet, they only have like three bombs that they can drop each turn. So it's going to give me they're not going to damage Invaca a lot. All right. Hake is under attack. Let's see what happens. OK, they haven't lost it just yet. But uh, I am going to send these ships through. Boom. If the humans don't react to my arrival just now, it's going to be. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My victory chances are thoroughly in my favor. That's good, because they need to be, like, ridiculously in your favor if you have any chance to win. I know. Well, it's going to happen. And my planetary flux shield, by the way, is going up next turn on the planet they're bombing. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, crap. I just hit the next turn button. I hope you I hope you're not doing anything too involved. No, no, no. I'm fine. I'm trying to be better about that. I'm fine. Let me take these ships out. There we go. All right. So Dulza is cleared out and Dulza has Yay! defense. Now you can head to Madeira. Yeah, I've got, yeah, I'm two turns out. I don't know right, if I'll there, be able to save that colony or not. There but. is a battleship and a cruiser, though, outside of Dolza. So watch that. Outside of Dolza. Okay, let me double check that. Hague Prime is under attack again. Looks like they destroyed the military outpost as well. So Hague Prime hasn't been destroyed yet, but it's on its way. Okay, awesome done here so now it's just time for let me rebuild some of the basic buildings they appear to have destroyed and then go ahead and go for that core waste dump do it first why why the hell not all right oh this feels so good oh this feels so good auto resolve oh it's just one battleship that's why it's going to keel over so quickly bye bye all right so that attacking force is gone and i'm going to order them out of the invaca system so they can't be surprised Excellent. All right. Okay, and I should be able to get rid of this stupid battleship in Madeira. Glad to hear it. I'm going to put up some surveillance out there 
So I'll know... I'll know sooner when something's coming on the Western Front again. This has happened twice to me now. Oh, guess who just offered me a peace treaty? The humans? Yep. Well, they hate me, so I don't know if they're going to offer me one. I, I don't care what they're going to offer. Decline. <laughs> I love it. All right, good. No, no, no. You don't. Mm -mm. See, because he's loot now. That tells me that that truly the odds have changed because that's when they offer up that. So yep. he's concerned about losing as he should be. <laughs> Truth. So, yeah. All right, I am withdrawing my attack force from Invaca, or defense force, I guess I should say, because it is in fact a defense force. Threatening fleet detected. Which one? Uh, the one destroyer in orbit of Shisho? No, it's okay. I'll be fine. Now I got some serious rebuilding to do in Madeira, but should be okay. Interestingly enough, the uh, Sakura have a attack fleet on the jump point to Mentar. Interestingly enough. Not too surprised by that. You think they're going to go for it now, though? Maybe they're pissed off at the humans, too. Possibly so. Hey, are you going to take care of these humans that just flew into CMAC, or do you want me to jump in? Because I can definitely take them. I've already it's sent the fleet there. Okay, cool. GNN. Oh, the Alcari are toast. Yep. Bye-bye. The Alcari flock has been eliminated by the soccer brood. Hey, GNN! It's been a while since we've seen one of these. <laughs> Good riddance. <laughs> are you getting the same animation I am? I just got the announcement. I just skipped it. I was like, yeah, Akari fleets no more. They had this great exchange. All right, let's let's see what the Sakura think of me right now. Is there any negative CB? No, there's not. Now we could we could see where the series is going very soon if the Sakura decide to uh, to be aggressive right now. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> if if they if they randomly did what the humans did a little bit ago when when we were completely at peace with them and they declared war because again the first human declaration of war in the series was was a little understandable there was like eh, okay maybe we pissed them off but the second one was just like oh my god are you freaking kidding me because we were we had we both had great standing with them and there was just zero CB um, for them to do it uh, and. And, but they did it anyway. So the soccer are now in the same position. We have great standing with them. We actually don't have as good standing with them as we had with the humans. So, yeah. Just pointing that out for funsies. I'm just giving them, I'm actually giving them like tech that I don't care about right now. Yep. Like, here you go. Let me give you that too. It's just positive trade stuff. Yep. Like, thank you, benevolent lizards. Thank you. Yep, I just gave him a couple tech. Next turn, let's see what they do. And the humans are attacking CMAC, which is what I thought they'd do. Actually, they didn't do anything. They just jumped into orbit. They didn't attack. They just enacted a blockade. So that will give you the perfect opportunity to wipe them out. There we go. Toast. Awesome. What I like to hear. Okay, now let's take a look at these human fleets. They don't have anything substantial that I can see. So we may have turned... The corner with them maybe perhaps per perhaps question mark <laughs> maybe maybe <laughs> <laughs> yeah 
They still have quite a massive fleet on the border between Ladon and Mentar Prime. And until that fleet goes elsewhere, preferably back into their system, I don't want to send anything towards Mentar just yet. Well, yeah, but sure. I, I definitely want to have a glorious reconquest of Mentar Prime. Sooner than later. Actually, you know, one thing I'm going to do now, since they seem to have lost a bit of their 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 luster for attacking CMAC, and they might not come back this way too soon if they're feeling threatened by the, the by the Sakura. I'm going to go ahead and just tentatively send the base factory that I had uh, hanging out in Zenithnida to CMAC and rebuild my jump gate there. Oh, good. And yeah, de and defenses if I can. But yeah. Good idea. I actually am almost out of command points, so I'm going to have to start shifting back towards infrastructure pretty soon. Yeah, I don't have command point problems right now. Got other issues, but that's not. Well, yeah, I, I can imagine you don't have command point problems. You have several. You, you, your systems are quite uh, quite developed. Okay, it looks like yeah, the soccer are colonizing in Altair. Battleship completed at Zenithnida Prime. Very good. So we have another battleship joining the ranks. Fortunately, the growth rate is so high that I'm going to be able to replace all that pop between send, sending civil transports to Meridia 2 and the growth rate. Yeah, it's like not really a problem. So awesome. that's good. How big is that fleet? 500 slash 1900. Okay, we'll move. I'm basically just going to sit in between Dulza and Simak until we get the defenses and stuff restored there. Yeah. The Sakura are definitely sending armies through Nurb and Invaka. Mm-hmm. Yep. But they're they're going through, which, which suggests to me that they're targeting the humans. Let's hope so. Seems to be the case so far. Ah, uh, no, they're withdrawing. No, wait, wait, wait. A oh, dude, can you see into Hake? Uh, yeah. Look at that fleet on the jump point. Man, yeah. Sweet Jesus. Yeah. Basically, twelve k slash nineteen k. Yeah. If they if they decide to go again, if they decide to go loud against us, we're done. We're done. Be all it'll, it'll be it'll all be done other than the crying. <laughs> that's it. That's that's all that'll be left. Just it's us crying. Just us sobbing. Yep. <laughs> all right. So I've got the interplanetary administration done in Zenithida, but given that I have some infrastructure stuff to do, I'm not going to focus on ships right now or building that up too much. I'm very curious to see if we get a surprise declaration of war from the Sakura. Oh, I hope not. Anytime soon. That was a stupid move on the humans part. They just threw away that other fleet. Up, oh, yep. The Sakura are attacking some of the basic human ships. They just killed a space factory. And they just went to war with them. Yep. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> okay, and I cool. just got them to retreat. Now, what we could do... Hmm. <laughs> Well, no, I was going to say we could offer the humans an alliance right now and kind of try to flip the switch here, but we don't have enough to take on the Sakura. So we'll just let them do their thing. And then uh, we'll just see how it plays out. But our issue now isn't can we beat the Sakura or not? Our issue now is can we get top score in the next 101 turns? 
which combined we will. Maybe we should look at it that way. Like if we add I, up I, our score. Oh yeah, I thought we right? talked about that. Yeah. I mean, th that's the way we're playing this series. We can still win it combined, but are we already winning it combined? I haven't looked at score in a bit. You know what? I haven't either. Let's take a look at Path to Victory. So, uh, we are winning it combined, actually, by about... Hey, guys, we're, we're actually winning this series. Oh, no, wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, why <laughs> we're, would we're you beating even... Combined, we're beating the humans. So, we, we're in second place. We're in second place. Okay. I, 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 yeah. They, they've got us by, oh, about 60k in score, 70k in score. Good lord. Yeah. Well, they're just, I mean, they're just crazy beastly. I was excited until you said that. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but again, if we compete with the humans, right? We could, we're going for that. We're going for the destroy the humans. Yes. Because, yeah, the Sakura guys, I mean, come on now. just doesn't it just doesn't seem likely all right i am i'm doing it i'm queuing up some advanced colony ships it's happening i've got one queued up too because i've been doing a um, gas giant compression nice yeah i just uh i just there oh wow tyrannus 2 compressed to a abundant 10 pop world with normal gravity that's not bad that's not bad at all And I have a jump gate there, so I can definitely take advantage of that. That's good to know. All right. Now, where can I send this dude? This hasn't happened in a while. Turn timer putting pressure on me. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah. Hey, you like it. <laughs> <laughs> you jerk. How do you like it, Hadrian? I'm sorry. I get excited. Let's see. What are these soccer <laughs> doing? What do you... What do you they're, they're attacking here. Mentar Prime, and they're probably going to capture it. The which annoys me. Hey, yeah, well, I'd rather have the Sakura own it than the humans, man. That's true. I mean, let's, let's you know, let's look but at I it want, that way. I want my glorious reconquest. That's all I'm saying. Oh, Don't cool. Think... All right, so C-Mac Prime has ridiculously good production somehow. Don't know how, but I can produce a lot of this stuff in one turn. So Starbase, definitely. More command points. Uh... Advanced colony ship after that, then missile base, orbital batteries, armor barracks. All right, cool. Excellent. Lucian and Invoca 2 has reached a critical level. Is that so? Well, I have a core waste dump here now, right? Don't I? Yeah, so pollution's going to go down. Yay for core waste dumps. Core waste dumps are cool. I do have a command point issue now, though, so I'm going to have to destroy one of my, uh... I think I'm going to destroy this space factory. Crap. Bye-bye. Didn't really need him anyway. Wasn't doing anything with him. But I will have a space fact or a, um... Yeah, a starbase just finished, so now I have more command points. Hey! The space factory is here. Let me go ahead and rebuild that jump gate in CMAC. Ah, damn. I'm not going to be able to, uh... Uh, hang on. Yeah, I can make it through building this advanced colony ship in CMAC Prime to help me recolonize the CMAC system really fast before I have to reduce uh, pollution, but it's it's going to be tight fit. Ah, it's so cool to see pollution going down slowly. Yes, right? Hey, we're at 401, man. This is by far our most substantial bromance series, and it's had the most nuance and crazy strategic stuff happening. A lot of unexpected things, but that's not always bad. No, I mean, I think it's, if nothing else, right, I think it's kept it interesting. I'd yes. like to think so, anyway. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure the, the first, audiences will let us know. The first Titan has arrived. Where? Where is it? 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 Uh, it's on its way to Dulza from Neptunus. From Neptunus. Yep. I see it. I yep. see it. Oh, see it's it in beautiful. all its glory. It's beautiful. 
Fourteen hundred defense by itself. That's right. That's Sorry about the turn timer. Right. That's okay. I did the thing again. It's okay. I'll forget. Alright, let's see what they do to Mentar. This this could be the end of Mentar Prime, because they don't have a substantial colony on Mentar Prime, so it should fall. Here we go, gas giant compression there. Interesting. And um, maybe they don't have a troop transport with that fleet, but they didn't capture it yet. Huh. If they don't capture it, do you think it would piss the soccer off if I went in and retook it? Yes. Damn it. Yeah, I do. But it's, I, it's I wouldn't my, risk it. I wouldn't risk it. It's it is like, my home world, damn it. I hear you, but I, 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 I wouldn't risk it, buddy. Cause no, I, 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 no, dude, I know you don't have to explain it. I get better, it. better to have a better for us to have some worlds than no worlds, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm picking up what you're putting down. No, I mean this. It's exactly what happened to us previously in the series, and I did the turn timer thing again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're all excited. It's excited H. It's excited H. We cannot stop him. No, we can't. We can only hope to contain the excited H. Yeah. Right, and they okay. colonize Horus again. So, so the humans are. The humans are big time consolidating forces in the Sicho system or whatever it's called. Yeah, yep. but that's not it's, it's not going to be enough there, guys. Not going to be enough because I'm coming for you next turn. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, Invoca 3 is done with some of their... Uh... I need a core waste dump there, definitely. Then we'll terraform. So at this point, what I'm doing, I'm just going to try and terraform and kind of improve the worlds that I already have as much as possible, infrastructure-wise. I I, I'm not feeling threatened anymore as long as the Sakura don't go crazy. And they definitely are going crazy, just not on us. <laughs> right, right, exactly. I, you can see all these green arrows just flooding into our territory. It's kind of glorious, to tell you the truth. It really, it, it really kind of is. Oh, I just got my second Titan. Awesome. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm purely focused on infrastructure right now, so anyone watching my side is just seeing me you know, just building up my colonies as rapidly as possible. That's all I'm doing. Definitely going to terraform Tyrannus 3. Start moving it towards being something better than what it is. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that right now before I even do those other things Other things I just queued up. The Nithnada 4 has grown. That's excellent news. Probably need some more research pop. Go ahead and arrange that. Just colonized a new world with an advanced colony ship. Yep, I'm going to be able to do that very soon. Actually, I think... How close is it? Which is yeah, pretty cool, folks. As you can see here, when you do the advanced colony ship, it gives you the automated factory, hydroponic farm, and research lab all at once, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, I'm excited about that. It's going to help me rebuild CMAC pretty quickly. The humans do have a fleet inbound to CMAC, by the way. But there's also a Sakura fleet waiting for them. So depending on how the AI react to that, watch the turn timer. Depending on how the AI react to that, they might, um, hopefully they'll just wait there for the fleet to arrive. They'll be smart. Right. Let me see here. Or the humans. CMAC? How much is it? Oh, the yeah, they'll, they'll wait. They'll wait for it. I'm confident. Yep, it's happening right now. Docker will probably attack it. No, they withdrew. What? They withdrew without attacking it. That's weird. Now CNAT could be under threat. Uh, wait, how big is that fleet? Not particularly big. Um, CMAC has a starbase? Yep. Okay. Slowly rebuilding.
Yeah, I think CMAC has a starbase. Hang on. It does. Now, now I'm building an advanced colony ship right now. I'm, I'm tempted to buy it, but I don't want it to pop up next turn and then get wiped out by this fleet, so I'm going to leave it. If this human fleet jumps my space factory when it's one turn, they probably are going to do that. Oh, son of a bitch. Tell you what, I'm going to withdraw that space factory so I don't lose it. Mm, there you go. Yep, they just jumped the structure. They're killing it. And the soccer are going to kill them. I think. Nope, they didn't attack. Weird. That is weird. As stupid as what it is. Um, hey, well, I'm going to keep withdrawing that space factory until such time as... Man, I thought the humans were really going to leave me alone at this point with the soccer breathing down in the neck, but no. It's okay. Still, I've got they, a titan. That, I've got a titan that's going to go hang out at Simac Prime. Okay, that's appreciated. Actually, have the titan hang out at Simac Two, please. Because at Simac Two. Yes, because I just bought an advanced colony ship. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and get that colony uh, started, and as soon as that human fleet is no longer a concern, whether they try and attack CMAC 2 or attack this Sakura fleet. Yeah, they're attacking CMAC Prime. Yeah. That's why I wanted to go there, because I, I, know. I could have backed I just, up your star base. It's, it's, it's fine. They might not win, though. Yeah, they can't get through the planetary shield. Yeah, so it's not that big a deal. Let's see. Uh, can I take them? It says I can, actually. Yeah, okay, well then, fine. And attack these guys. Yeah, and they go. ran. Okay, and I'll just hang out there. Alright, I'm recolonizing with this advanced colony ship. Forgot to change out my weapon systems. Yeah, I'm doing that right now. The, you need to you need to change your weapon systems out, bud. Get rid of like your missile tech and add in disruptor cannons. Yeah, probably a good idea. Oh, so cool that those buildings are already there. So very cool. Alright, thanks for helping me defend CMAC. Again, we are at uh we're at time, man. What? Yep, 28 minutes in. All right. Time All flies right, when then. we have this much to do. But anyway, we'll go ahead and cut this one here. And then in the next one, we're going to see just how long until the soccer decide that we are a nuisance that should be eliminated from the galaxy so the entire galaxy can be green. And I don't know that there's much we can do to stop them. <laughs> there, there's, there's not, nothing. but there's, we'll put, there's you nothing. know, we're, we're not giving up, though. We're going we're gonna to put up a fight. We're going to put up a fight. Path to victory. Let's look at our scores here. Yeah, they, you're right. They're still solidly ahead of us, uh, but we are beating the humans, which makes me happy. Yeah, Thoroughly. makes me happy, so, too. So very happy. So anyway, we're going to keep building up what we can and trying to have a nice little last stand, um, at least until the humans are gone. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. If the soccer declare war, then this will be over pretty quickly. But we'll uh, it's, we're just going to play it by ear at this point, because uh, at this point, it's not playing to win. <laughs> it's just just playing to have them the fanciest possible combination it's, of factors it's, in the last episode. Uh, it's, it's playing to just see what we can accomplish. Right. It's all about it's, the effort it's, here. It's playing to play. So that's what we're going to do. So thanks very much for watching, folks. If you enjoyed, don't forget, Mal and I both still have a series going, so you can see the campaign from both sides, depending on which channel you're watching. Or as some people do, you can actually put them up side by side and turn the sound off on one and ha sync them up to play at the exact same moment, and you're watching both it's it might sound ridiculous to some of you but to others including us from time to time it's pretty dang cool and don't forget to like the videos and subscribe to follow along if you're not already we're uploading new episodes in brains and brawn on both <sighs> channels every day at 9 a.m eastern daylight time which is gmt minus four for those of you not in the states and comments are always welcome let us know what you think thanks so much for watching folks he's hadrian i'm mal and we will see you later